Hey guys, how's it going? It's Murda here. I'm um, coming at you with a Friday video, kind of doing a, a little current events on some things that are happening uh, today, this weekend, lately, stuff like that. I want to start off talking about the giveaways that many of you have been waiting for that I'm going to be doing uh, on my stream. I was originally going to do it July 4th, uh, just in case they did a, a double or triple station cash day on that day. I still hope that they do. Uh, but I realize I'm going to be out of town and I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to stream from where I'm at. So I wanted to go ahead and do it before then uh, just to make sure that you guys have uh, your, your station cash cards ready to go if they do do a, uh, a bonus station cash on that day or any day. Or you're, you know if you win, you're welcome to just use it whenever you want. So basically, uh, it's going to be right now, tentatively at least, on Saturday, June 29th. That's two weeks from tomorrow. And I'm going to, you know, plaster that everywhere on the stream and the YouTube and the Twitter and uh, alert the devs and see if anybody else wants to hang out and bring some more station cash to give away, make it even better, uh, up the ante, so to speak. And I'm probably going to do two to three giveaways. Uh, one of them, at least, is going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern on that Saturday, the 29th of June. And uh, I'm just putting that out there so that there's a time that people, you know, know that they can gather. I tried to make it decent for, for the different time zones that tend to tune in. I'm sorry if it's a little bit late or early for anybody. But uh, there'll be one then, and then there's likely going to be at least one other one uh, at a certain threshold of either viewers or followers. We'll see where we're at uh, since it's still two weeks away. Uh, you know, if there's 170 people watching, maybe we'll do one at 200 viewers. If there's, you know, so many followers, maybe we'll do one at the next threshold of followers or something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go, but that's going to be the gist of it. Um, just so you know, this image in the background is off my Twitter. These are cards on my actual uh, mouse pad that we picked up, Shandara and I, uh, some to use for ourselves, some to give away. Uh, I actually picked up some more today at GameStop, we'll talk about that in a second. And uh, yeah, of course you can follow me on Twitter, at ExitsMurdaX, you can see down here if you want. And uh, both Shandara and I are going to be supplying at least a card each out of our own pockets uh, on the 29th for the giveaway, so that's pretty cool. Uh, tell your friends, come out for that, I'm going to try to be streaming all day prior to that. Um, anyway. Moving right along, uh, what I was talking about before, as you may have seen in your email, uh, this is actually just a copy of the email, or you may have seen on the forums or you know whatever, talk about it. Uh, today, tomorrow, and Sunday, uh, for the Father's Day promo, uh, GameStop and EB Games, this counts Canada, I know Respire was saying, you know, oh, we usually don't get promos, so that's pretty cool um, for Canada as well. Uh, you can go to the store and the $15 cards, I picked up the ones that look like this with the Planet Side uh, 2 thing on them, are $10. Now they ring up right at $10, uh, so you can buy as many of those as you want. Uh, they also come with like the NS11 Platinum, which is pretty cool uh, on top of all of that. So uh, keep that in mind as well. That's that's You're still going to get that bonus, and I don't know if this is ever going to change. We've seen some other Platinum models for NS weapons appearing in the files, so I don't know, but whatever. Either way, it's a good deal, and on top of that, it's even better than the normal Walmart deal because you're actually getting uh, a little bit more bang for your buck. You're getting an extra 500 station cash, essentially, but you're only spending $10 instead of 15 that you would at Walmart. So if you do the math and you actually redeem these cards on, like, say, a double or triple day, you would get more station cash for your money spent than you would with the typical Walmart cards. So even if you don't really plan on it right now, it's probably a good investment. Uh, so we picked up a few more. I kind of want to even buy more, but we'll see how that goes. Don't want to get too crazy with the, with the funds. But definitely go check out your local GameStops or EB Games and pick some of those up uh, over the next couple of days this weekend. Uh, it's the best value for Station Cash that we've seen yet, uh, actually. So even if you want to hang out until a, a promo day, it's worth buying them now while you can get them cheap. So that's pretty much that. And uh, then there's a couple other things going on, current events, that I wanted to just mention. We had a uh, server maintenance today just to, you know, adjust the price of harasser, enforcer weapons, whatever. Uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. New hyper boosts have been added to the marketplace, uh, kind of like the heroic boost that they added during St. Patrick's Day. Except the exact opposite. You see here in the depot, limited time only, 100% one day and three day boosts. So you'll see that there's a hyper boost. 3-day version for 700 station cash and a 1-day version for 400 station cash. They expire in a week, so you'll no longer be able to get them. They're limited time only, just like the heroic boosts were, although I think that those were a weekend only. But anyway, um, 
they're really good. They're the highest boost you, you've, you know, they, well, I should note that they only give EXP, not resources, but they are the highest boost that has ever been offered. It's basically your own pocket double EXP. It doesn't stack with existing boosts, so somebody like me who still has 100 days or whatever on an Alpha Squad or a, or a uh, Heroic boost doesn't want to uh, equip this over top of it right now, which is where it gets a little weird for me. Um, I personally loved the heroic boost idea in the past. I thought it was great to offer alpha squad boosts again for people who wanted to invest in them. I'd like to see heroic boosts come back in the future because I know I would buy probably three of them uh, myself again so that when my alpha squads run out I would use those. But the, the fact, I, I guess what it stems from is that score and experience are still one and the same. They're not separated. And I know that that's been on the roadmap for a while. Uh, it's probably pretty far off, though, still, I would guess. But I would have liked to have seen that that separation happen before we bring in a 100% boost, because 50% has been the boost, you know, for a long time, no matter what duration you get. So now it's like, if you want to it just inflates score per minute and things like that a little bit. And it's just a little bit inconsistent, I guess, is the best way to look at it. You could spend you know seven dollars every three days and buy a million of these right now and then uh you know just use them over time as they expire and essentially be getting the highest score per minute the highest cert per minute whatever uh you can save them up and you know double dip them when a double exp weekend happens you know or however you want to do it but i guess the point remains is that if you want to be as competitive as possible uh, from a score per minute standpoint you aren't going to be unless you buy these boosts and i'm certainly not going to dump you know, hundreds of dollars into hyper boosts just because. Um, so I might buy, you know, one or a couple or whatever uh, during this uh, limited time window just to have after my alpha squad expires. That's another thing, like, if you have a really long boost, you have to wait a couple months to even use these. So you're essentially losing out on somebody who buys these today. It's just, it's just awkward. I, you know, I don't want to talk too much about it for too long, but... Uh, the heroic boosts I really really liked. The hyper boosts are are pretty cool, but they have some you know weird confounding factors about them that uh, you know I, I kind of just wish score and experience were separated before that they came in. But nonetheless, they are here and they're pretty amazing. And the value isn't even that bad. Seven hundred for three days for a hundred percent. I would definitely recommend it. I mean, even just comparing it to this one, it's a much better deal by far. So look into that if you have a boost, uh, or even if you ha you know, or if you don't have a boost, I should say, or even if you have one of these Alpha Squad boosts or Heroic boosts um, equipped, and you want to just buy one uh, to use at a later date. But PSA to the devs. Uh, hopefully we can get score and experience separated sometime soon, uh, before you know it's too much damage control to really kind of rein in with that. And uh, hopefully we can see the Heroic boost back at some point too, because I really like those. So aside from that. You'll notice, you may have gotten an email or seen that the bundles, uh, you know, your typical bundles, there's five bundles that you see here have 50 weeks on them. They basically are the bundles that are always available. Um, you may have gotten an email about this. If you just go to planetside2.com slash bundles, they are now available on the website. Uh, they're renamed, you know, infantry options pack and multi-arsenal and spec kit, light assault, whatever. Um, but they're the same the same exact bundles that you can get in the game right now. Uh, but they are here on the website, and that's cool. That's an alternative. You can check them out. Uh, it doesn't actually offer anything different than what you can get in the game right now. But I thought that it was maybe a platform for some of the things that we're starting to hear about on Reddit and stuff like that, uh, such as the you know, mega camo bundle that supposedly has like 41 different camos in one bundle and things like that that they might be releasing in the near future. So I thought that it was interesting that they put this out and uh, keep an eye and an ear open to it. I'm not sure if they'll ever put exclusive things on the site that aren't available in the depot in-game, but uh, nonetheless it's it's pretty cool um, just from a development standpoint. You can see how things are, are progressing and hopefully we'll see some other neat bundles in the near future. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. I've probably been talking for a while at this point. But um, I'm going to be streaming tonight throughout the weekend as as usual as much as I possibly can over at itsmurda.com or twitch.tv slash itsmurda underscore TV. So be sure to check that out. Uh, get excited about the giveaway two weeks from tomorrow. Um, talk to me on, on Twitter at xitsmurdax. And uh, I really appreciate everybody's support, the follows on Twitter and, and Twitch, and the subscribes on YouTube. All of that stuff uh, really couldn't be, you know, doing it without you guys. So thank you so much for that, and uh, check out the stream. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff, by the way, and I will see you soon. Have a good one.